Wanted to update you about the sexual assault case against CNN's Don Lemon. His accuser, Dustin Heiss, has now walked away from his lawsuit, which was set to go to trial in June. The announcement came two weeks ago, a few months after Dustin Heiss came on this program and described the alleged incident as follows. Uh, I decided to approach him and I said, hey, Don, let me buy you a drink. And before he could even respond, I looked at the bartender and I said, let me get two lemon drops. And if anything, that was an attempt at humor. Um, and I didn't mean anything derogatory or, you know, I wasn't trying to uh, harass him or, you know. Um, and Don looks at me and says, I'm just trying to have a good time. And at that time, I said, OK, I'm sorry. And I walked away and I thought that was the end of it. He comes around the bar and comes up to me and he says, um, pardon my language, but he says, do you like me? Is that why you're fucking with me? And I said, no, uh, I just wanted to say what's up. And I was just like, what's this guy's problem? And I look at my boss and I look back and he has his hand in his pants, rubbing himself aggressively. And he shoves his two fingers up underneath my mustache, thrusts my head back and says, do you like pussy or dick? And he said it like two or three times after that. And I just said, what the hell, man? And I just ran out the back door. Heiss, in dropping the case, issued the following statement, quote, after a lot of inner reflection and a deep dive into my memory, I have come to realize that my recollection of the events that occurred on the night in question when I first met CNN anchor Don Lemon were not what I thought they were when I filed this lawsuit. As a result, I am dropping the case. It reads like a hostage statement. (laughs) Now, I have no reportable evidence for this, but I do have 10 years of legal practice under my belt, plus nearly 20 as a legal analyst. And I can tell you that no plaintiff issues a statement like that, walking away from a case against a public figure unless they've been paid to do so. Lemon's lawyer, Caroline Polisi, denies it, saying, quote, Mr. Lemon has never paid the plaintiff a dime. Polisi later went even further, telling the website Mediaite, quote, Not a single penny was paid by Don Lemon or any of his representatives. Well, I don't believe her. I believe a check was cut to Dustin Heiss and that it was cut by a representative of Don Lemon's and that Ms. Polisi is misleading. And it's not the first time. Earlier in the case, after we interviewed Mr. Heiss, Ms. Polisi told the media that she had sent me a letter, quote, admonishing me for our reporting on this case, for putting him on the air. Typical bully tactic by a lawyer toward the, toward the press. But the thing is, it wasn't true. It was a lie. She never sent me a letter or any other correspondence. Well, it would have been fun to have one with her. <laughs> she released something to the media, apparently, in an effort to spin them and make herself look tough. Newsflash, lawyers sometimes lie to reporters. She did it then, and I believe she did it again when she said Lemon's reps paid nothing to Dustin Heiss. What does she mean, by the way? Uh, by by Lemon's representatives, right? How about Lemon's insurance company, Miss Polisi? Did they cut a check? Because that's typically how this would go. Miss Polisi can clear this whole thing up very easily. Will she certify under oath that it didn't happen? Or why not just produce a declaration from Dustin Heiss that no money was paid to him in connection with the settlement of this case? Because Dustin notably does not make that claim in his hostage statement. And if Dustin Heiss did not get paid off, hmm? if he really just threw in the towel after two years of publicly lying about Don Lemon, where's the lawsuit against him? He's besmirched Don Lemon's reputation. Why would Lemon let him get away with that? Why wouldn't he be pursuing a defamation claim right now? Look, Heiss's case was far from perfect. That's true. Lemon's lawyer did a good job of banging up his witnesses at deposition, a fact we covered at length on this show. And after Heiss came on with us, a witness who saw the interview apparently came forward to claim that he, the witness, is gay. And he claimed that when he was in high school with Dustin Heiss, he says Heiss allegedly did something to him very similar to what Heiss says Lemon did to Heiss. I have no idea whether this man was at all credible. But obviously, that would be a potentially bad development for Heiss. So no, Heiss did not have a slam dunk case. But what incentive did Dustin Heiss have to settle this case on the eve of trial if he was not paid off? 
Let's imagine he really was lying the whole time. Why throw away the game now? Why not roll the dice at trial and see if you can convince a jury? Dustin told a compelling story with disturbing detail. Dustin had a very good lawyer. He definitely had a shot at winning this case. The guy had been through two years of depositions and motion practice and headaches and so on. It would take a check to make one abandon that gamble pre-trial. And that's what likely happened here. So all in all, a victory for both sides. Dustin issues a statement about misremembering in exchange for what was likely a fat check. Lemon claims innocence and goes back to the news and it's done. But that's not really the whole story because the media's role in this case deserves a word. Lemon, through his same attorney, has attempted to paint himself as the victim of a dishonest press. Miss Polisi first reminding us, of course, that Lemon is a gay black man, quote, <laughs> then whining that the reporting on this matter has been, quote, a case study in unethical and uninformed reporting. What a joke. If anything, the media ran cover on this for Don Lemon. There was a virtual blackout of these allegations. The same reporters who gleefully and unquestioningly reported on obviously flimsy sexual harassment allegations against Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity in 2020 refused to even do a blurb on the Lemon case, which, unlike the Fox case, had an eyewitness. CNN ran to the air with that baseless allegation against the Fox anchors, Brian Stelter giving it airtime, Allison Camerata using it to declare Fox News, quote, rotten to the core, but not a peep about the Lemon case from virtually anyone. Remember what the media did to Brett Kavanaugh. The press killed him. They absolutely killed Kavanaugh. Still has fallout for him to this day. White conservative straight guy, done. But Lemon's case didn't fit their narrative. Trump hating woke Don Lemon. He's one of the good guys. Lemon can't be gross because he's a left wing hero. Tucker, Hannity, Kavanaugh, not so much. This is why people hate the press. It's agenda driven, identity driven. It's partisan. It's leftist. It only presents the stories that align with its anchors worldview and it buries those that don't. Thankfully, Americans are waking up and have learned to question the mainstream media. They've learned about their inherent bias. They've learned where to find other, more honest news sources. And we're delighted to be one of them. This episode of The Megan Kelly Show is sponsored by the Claremont Review of Books, a quarterly journal of original essays and book reviews that the smartest conservatives in America read from cover to cover. Widely regarded as the intellectual nerve center of the conservative world, the Claremont Review of Books is one of the only places where important new books and ideas are treated seriously and in depth by reviewers who know what they're talking about, many of whom you'll recognize because you've heard them here on this show. Victor Davis Hanson, Sarab Amari, Heather McDonald, John Daniel Davidson, I could go on. You can get a sampling of the exceptional content they publish along with a special offer at claremontreviewofbooks.com slash mk. Listeners of the MK Show will receive a free bonus issue of the publication by signing up for a one-year subscription. That's five issues for the price of four. It's just nineteen ninety-five. If you love great writing and thoughtful insights on everything from politics to history, philosophy and music, art, sports, and on and on it goes, then sign up to start receiving the best read for the most well-read today. At Claremont, review of books.com slash MK, that's C-L-A-R-E-M-O-N-T, Claremont, review of books.com slash MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.